Hi, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to take you through what my morning routine looks like and I'm also going to kind of highlight on the individual roles that we all play in this family of six. So on this particular morning, I woke up really early because I went to bed an hour earlier than I usually do. So I was up by I think 5 a.m. or so. So usually once I get up, I don't wake Monica up if I get up before her. Monica is my help by the way. Because I just like the peace and quiet of having to do everything by myself. So I got up, came to my kitchen and I'm just putting away all the pots that we washed and laid down to try. Another thing I'm going to be doing is to go into my freezer and just figure out what the girls would take to school for lunch, what um, we at home would have for lunch, and also sometimes what we'll have for dinner. So I'm just bringing out leftovers, my meal prep meals, just a bunch of stuff just to figure out what we're going to eat for the day. So these are all the things I brought out from the freezer. Um, this is leftover stew from a few days ago. This is blended tomatoes and pepper. I'm going to use this to make a small pot of stew. Um, here I have a pot of chicken. And actually this chicken has gone into the oven, but it looks like it didn't stay long. I don't even understand. Monica turned it off really quickly, but it smells really good. So I didn't fry this, just went into the oven for a short time. So I'm going to use that to cook stew. Then here I have a sauce. This is actually a sauce that my husband's cousin makes for grilled catfish. And I use this to eat. I use this to eat this. This is my meal prepped food. So it's a potato potage with chicken. Um, you can't really tell but yeah because it's frozen. I really like this sauce. So after we make grilled fish I just my husband asked him to pack some so usually when I'm warming my food I just take a little bit of this and I use it to eat it. So that's why I brought it out. And then here I have oven grilled ram meat. I'm just going to put this in this stew for my husband, Monica and the other lady that helps me. So this is going to be their lunch. They'll have it with rice or pasta and plantain or banana then this is leftover jollof i don't know who's going to eat this but this jollof was so good i made it yesterday so i just brought that out as well so this is what we have this is what we have here this morning and then here i have beans this beans is from last night i brought it out because there's no reason why it should be in a pot in the freezer so i'm just going to wait for it to thaw and then i'll scoop it into a bowl and then put it back into the freezer. I'm going to chop some tomatoes for the girls for their eggs. I also bought this really firm tomatoes to make a salad today. But I don't think I'll be having a salad today. I think I'll just make the salad tomorrow. So for lunch, I'm giving the girls fried plantains and fried eggs. It was a last minute decision. So I realized I had plantains, I had eggs. I had um, sardine, so I decided to give them this. Plus, they love fried plantain and eggs so much. I think it's one of their favorite things um, to take to school. So that's what they're having today. What's left of me? Drowning in my fears just like an ocean. Negativity is getting closer. How to keep the heat when it gets colder, you know. Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker 
exaggerate enough on how much I just love to be by myself in the mornings because mornings are usually very peaceful there's no noise outside you're not hearing too many horns from cars like it's usually very peaceful so i just like to do my thing and most times i'm just praying let monica not wake up now because all that sweeping and cleaning and banging things like i don't want to hear it so i just do everything i do in peace make sure that i finish before anybody gets up so hard to please I'd like you guys to share with me in the comments a few meals that you make for your children to take to school because mornings are usually very rush rush so you either have to plan ahead or you have to wake up really really early to make complicated meals let's just put it that way because for example planting an eggs very easy to make it's not messy you won't have any issue of it you know getting spoiled or anything so share with me in the comments Typical meals that you would give your children to take to school apart from rice because my children don't like to take rice to school. Think about the stuff we play, how I'd rather do that instead. I keep screaming out loud from the top of my lungs, baby. Ooh, think about the stuff we play, how I'd rather do that instead. Anytime I fill my children's bottles with water, I remember my friend Marlies because these are the best bottles I have ever used since my children started going to school. When they get back from school and I pour the water out, the water is still as cold as it was when I gave it to them in the morning. So every time I fill their bottles in the morning, I'm usually just so happy. So I'm giving them breakfast now and they're having the most basic breakfast ever because there's no time to do much in the morning. They're having bread and mayonnaise. First of all, they act like they don't want to eat in the morning. They always act like they don't have appetite so i don't like to give them anything heavy so most times they would have cereal but today they're having bread and mayonnaise and hot chocolate so it's 6 35 which is crazy because usually if i don't wake up as early as this they would have breakfast by seven o'clock and then they would eat from like seven to seven thirty and then bath from seven thirty to eight so we're like 30 minutes on time so Hopefully they can be done with their food by 7 and they will have like 30 minutes to bath so they can leave the house by 7.30. So it's time to get them up so that they can have their bath and have, you know, their breakfast. And anytime I go to wake them up, I always say something that my mom always said when we were younger. My mom would say, sleep is very sweet, right? And they would say, yes. You don't want to get up, right? And they would say, yes. And then my mom would now say, well, when I was sending you to bed, you didn't want to go to bed. It's crazy how children don't want to sleep. And then when you grow up and you get to adulthood, you just want to find any little chance you get and you want to just take a nap. Maybe just a better kind of better, better.
I don't let my children get picky when it comes to food. Uh, my mom didn't even raise me like that. I didn't get the chance to pick what I wanted to eat. I ate everything that my mother prepared. But I've not been able to win the battle with Grace. She doesn't like to take milk. She doesn't like to take hot chocolate. So when I give her bread, it has to be with margarine alone. She doesn't like jam. She doesn't like mayonnaise. So she will take her bread with margarine and water. So while the girls are eating, my husband is still in bed still trying to get up from bed and then i will be in the kitchen putting their food into their food flask while monica cleans and makes the beds in the room Once the girls are done with their meal, their dad takes them to bath them. I've mentioned this several times, but I do not like bath time. I do not like it. In fact, I can't remember when last I bathed my girls. It's always been between my husband, the nanny, and Monica. So somehow they sort it out. I don't get to do bath time, and I'm happy about that. I don't mind washing dishes. I don't mind doing anything. I just don't like to stand in the bathroom. <music> We're done right on time because I woke up earlier than usual and that's my baby asking for her face mask as if we are planning to steal it from her um, so we're done just walking them to the car uh, because usually Victoria would always start sulking when it's time to you know to move when it's time for them to start leaving she just acts like she wants to cry so whenever I can I like to escort them to the car or stand by the balcony and just tell them bye as they go so once they leave I start getting ready to go to the gym I think this was a Tuesday and my classes start in about 30 minutes or 45 minutes after they leave for school so I'm just freshening up wash my face brush my mouth put on some body mist and then because I had a little bit of time on my hands Stemming from the fact that I woke up early, I decided to listen to an audio teaching um, on the YouVersion Bible. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time to listen to that while I wear my shoes and then I'll leave the house. <music> I'm about to leave home i don't know why i look excited because i'm about to go work my ass off in the gym i usually catch a bus to the gym because by the time i'm leaving my husband is not back yet so i caught a bus that's me paying my transport fare 15 naira to the gym um so today i was supposed to do a lot of core workouts with the coach i just recently started working with to close my diastasis recti um she said i had a two or i have a two finger gap so today we did a lot of core workouts and this is me recovering from the previous day where i did a lot of leg workouts so i was in pain my legs were quivering a lot but i tried to pull through it we did it and that was it so that's the end of my video that's what my morning routine looks like on days that i go to the gym i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and leave me a comment i'll see you in my next video